from the Cube Studios in Palo Alto and Boston. It's the Cube, covering empowering the autonomous enterprise. Brought to you by Oracle Consulting. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this Cube special presentation where we're covering the rebirth of Oracle Consulting. So this is a digital event where we're going around and identifying subject matter experts in different locations. We're currently here in Chicago and I'm here with Stephanie Trunzo, who's the head of transformation and offerings at Oracle Consulting. Stephanie, great to see you again. Yeah, you too. So Oracle Consulting, you know, you guys have been quiet lately. Where you yeah, been? Yeah, yeah. Well, we were quiet because I wasn't here yet. Ah, okay. <laughs> and now I am. Make a noise. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> here to make some noise. So I love the way you said rebirth. I think it's really accurate. Um, Oracle Consulting has been around for quite some time, but as you said, maybe not high on the radar. And one of the things that we're learning, and one of the reasons I'm here in this transformation role is to help us transform ourselves to better match the transformation that our clients are going through. So, was there an internal transformation, or is there an internal transformation taking place as well? And then you sort of point it to the marketplace, maybe you could describe that a little Absolutely, bit. Absolutely, yeah. So, we are undergoing our own transformation at the same time that we're helping our clients undergo their transformation. And so for us, what that looks like, it is things like a traditional services organization, which is kind of what Oracle Consulting had been in the past, was looking at the expertise that was necessary to drive clients' business forward, but delivering it in what I would call a pretty traditional way. Time and materials-based kinds of contracting, determining the skills that were necessary, and and conversing with clients in feature function kinds of discussions. And our transformation is now about rebuilding the organization around offerings. And those offerings are things that we're doing to match the way that our clients are consuming, let's say, cloud technology. Mm -hmm. So if you might purchase a natural language processing service from a, a cloud platform, we want to also make sure that we're matching the humans to those technology services and enabling our clients to buy from us in a very similar way. You're also bringing in some, some new blood. I mean, obviously Oracle, <clears throat> yep. a large organization, a lot of DNA there, but yourself, you came from IBM, you got people coming in from AWS, you got yep. folks from Accenture and all over the place. Right? Yep. Describe that and how that's affecting the culture of Oracle Consulting. There's an influx of talent that is necessary to change the way that you think. And I th believe that one of the reasons I myself came to join Oracle Consulting was I was excited about this new adventure. So when you're working in a certain style, in a certain way, in a certain team for some amount of time, um, you can maybe forget to get introspective <laughs> and forget to look at what's right in front of you and the changes you need to make. So bringing in new talent from outside is as much a part of our transformation as the way that we're shaping our offerings is. Um, bringing in those new ideas, bringing in people who have you know, been there, done it in other experiences so that they can um, infuse our thinking with some of what's going on in the market around us. How would you summarize the mission of Oracle Consulting? The mission of Oracle Consulting is extremely simple. It's dead simple. It's help our clients succeed on Oracle Cloud Technology, period. Of course, Oracle's known as a product company. You sell software products. That's how you generate most of your revenue. So, and you've got your cloud, you've got you know, things like clouded customer and these, you know, exadata uh, that's really driving. You've got the Oracle database. Yep. You have certainly a huge application portfolio. How are, is Oracle Consulting aligning with the products? As a product company, our goal is still to help our clients achieve their goals, right? And so consulting is looking at our um, Oracle product set to make sure that we are always the deepest and the best at understanding so we can help leverage that technology to its fullest capacity for our clients. It's not just good enough to buy a tool, you have to know how to use it, right? Mm -hmm. And so our objective is to align with Oracle products make sure we know what's going to be hot off the press, that we're driving from our client experiences back into the product sets as well. So we're informing our product development of what's really happening out in the world with our clients' implementations. My last question, Stephanie, is how are you going to define success? When you look back you know, a couple years from now, what will success look like? Success to me will look like being the go-to for any solution that is an Oracle-driven answer to our clients, that 
Oracle Consulting is driving consumption in a way that is extremely valuable to the client because in the end, cloud consumption, technology consumption, but in and of itself is not very interesting. It's when we're telling stories that are our client stories on stages because we've helped them achieve new business outcomes. Things that weren't possible for them before. Well, it's great to have you. Thank you so much for coming on and it's good to have you at the helm, sort of bring credibility to Oracle Consulting and we'll be watching, so thank you. Awesome, thank you. All right, and thank you for watching. We'll be right back with our next guest right after this short break. You're watching theCUBE.